Yes, well, this is the uh, the argument which we've had, I think, I think from Dennett, from Daniel Dennett. He feels that perhaps the most wounding uh, influence upon religion really came with Darwin rather than with Galileo. Oh, and, I agree, I agree. Uh, even though it hurts my pride as a physicist to say so, uh, you know, because people don't really care that much about the way the planets go around the sun or, uh, or the way the, certainly they don't care about the balls rolling down the inclined plane. What they care about is life and particularly their own life and their relationship to uh, the causes for them being the way they are. They care about that. Um, and Darwin's revision of the, uh, argu of the understanding of why living things are the way they are, in particular why people are the way they are, was overwhelming. And uh, Darwin himself lost his faith. Uh, you know, I, I was recently rereading uh, Lytton Strachey's wonderful little biography of Cardinal Manning mm. in Eminent Victorians. And Manning said that he was, con he became convinced, a, a convinced Christian because of reading uh, Paley's Natural Theology. Yeah. Yes, and, and the wonderful uh, adaptation of living things uh, convinced him that there had to be a creator, a person a personality that created all this and suddenly that was gone there wasn't a discovery that there wasn't a creator but the the argument was removed and I don't think anything in that science has done for general culture has ever been as important as that yes it is interesting to find that on the whole the the percentage of biological disbelievers in the scientific community is higher than the percentage of disbelievers amongst your colleagues in physics well, and chemistry. Is that true? I didn't know that. Uh, actually, I've occasionally, not too often, gotten into conversations with my physicist colleagues about religion. I find an overwhelming lack of interest in it. I, I once said that they don't care enough about it to qualify as practicing atheists. They um, They've just regarded as a sort of question that it's silly to raise. And um, I, I, for some obscure reason, I, I tend to care about it, uh, and I'm interested in religion, but uh, most of my physicist friends are not. Um, but you find such a variety of beliefs. I, I have one f friend, a very distinguished astrophysicist, who told, told me that he's an orthodox observant Jew, which is a lot of trouble, you know, it's not easy, and doesn't believe in God. Um, because for him, the religion is a um, framework for life that he inherited from his parents. He grew up with it. He wants to stay in it. Um, but he doesn't think there's anything behind it. Uh, I, I think probably a fair number of people in the Church of England feel that way. I think for a number of people, the retreat into religion is, as you say, um, not a retreat into belief, but a retreat into reassuring domestic ritual. And I suspect that that's much greater for Jews than it is for Christians. I mean, there is a, a way in which one could say that belief is less important for Jews than observance. I think that's very true. Uh, one could argue about the reasons for it, but... I don't think Judaism is the only religion for which that's true. I think it's also true for Hinduism. Um, I don't think the Hindus have ever looked very closely into what they all believe. They, they're allowed to believe in all sorts of things. But the important thing is, you know, the Brahmins are not supposed to cross the, the ocean and uh, you're not supposed to kill cows. Those are, that's what's important. What, you know, what you really think about Brahma and Vishnu and Shiva, I don't think you, there was ever an inquisition in, in, among the Hindus. On the other hand, then you have religions like Christianity, Islam, and I guess to some extent Buddhism. Uh, these are the religions that have missionaries that go out and try to convert other people. And it's in these religions that have universalist ambitions 
that um, theology becomes important. And it is, it does become important. And uh, in a way, I'm more attracted to that <laughs> because as a uh, scientist, I care about searching for truth and making a theory of the world. And uh, Christianity, uh, or Buddhism for that matter, uh, provides an alternative theory of the world. And uh, that's something I have... I feel I have something to say about, I can interact with, I can respond to. On the other hand, if people just want to not eat pork or not kill cows or whatever it is, well, you know, more power to them. It has nothing to do with me and it, it, there's, no, uh, uh, there's no argument there. So you feel a, a, a realistic and vigorous sense of opposition yeah. in that they are, that Christianity and Buddhism, in a diff rather different way, are in fact, uh, as it were, more intellectually intelligible and uh, complementary to a scientific worldview. Yes, yes. They have a theory, and it's a theory that I don't agree with, but there is a theory there. Uh, and without a theory, what can I say? <laughs> you know, then, then it's not something that I can engage. Um, I, I once wrote something rather disparaging uh, about ultra-liberal Christian, Christianity and that I found myself more, uh, in some ways, more akin to a fundamentalist because at least they haven't forgotten what it is to believe something. Uh, and I got a copy of a fundamentalist newspaper from, I think, from New Mexico that praised me <laughs> because what they really, I think what their real concern was was not odd atheist physicists. That wasn't what they're worried about. What they're worried about are the liberal Christians. Oh, I see. So that, in fact, that the... Uh, the, the, the fundamentalist Christians see you scientists as worthy opponents Well, in the same way that you scientists I don't, or I don't you physicists they, are no, seeing... I, think, I, don't, I, I wouldn't draw that implication. Mm -hmm. I think they just found a surprising ally in the battle that they really care about, their battle with the liberal wing of, of, of Christianity. But uh, please don't let me give the f wrong impression. I think the harm, I think enormous harm is done uh, in, by religion, not just in the name of religion, but actually by religion. 